for people who are like, why does Ireland even care? Why does Ireland even care about the American election? Unfortunately, the president of America is involved in various worldwide things. Good morning. It's Wednesday here. So it is the day after American election day. In 2016, I made a couple of videos about the American election. Not only was it really topical, um, I thought it was funny. <laughs> like I thought it was hilarious that Trump was running for president. Like I got a lot of traction from those videos. A couple of them went viral, but I got a lot, like I got a couple of thousand people basically following me on Facebook so that they could just be absolute dicks to me every time I posted anything for the next four years. I'm not in an emotional place, I think, where I can take the level of vitriol I got the last time. But also, I just didn't want to get emotionally involved in it because I figured that Trump was going to win again. We're at the stage here today where Trump has announced that he's won. And is he trying to stop them from continuing to count the votes? But they haven't counted a lot of postal votes yet, so the hope is that a lot of postal votes will swing for Biden because they counted the in-person votes first, which makes sense that Trump voters would get out in force on the day because they don't believe in coronavirus. <laughs> you know the election is going to be a super spreader event. Like in two weeks time, the cases are going to go through the roof. Look, I hope Biden wins. I hope it swings back in his favor. Not because he's the most exciting candidate or the most progressive candidate or any of that. Pretty much just so the rest of us can get back to a bit of normality. And America presumably wants the normality back, although I do think that Trump has sown such a seed of discord that regardless of the result, I don't think this is going to solve it overnight, but <sighs> be a start rather than four more years of this shite. We want all voting to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots at four o'clock in the morning and add them to the list, okay? It's, it's a very sad, it's a very sad moment. To me, this is a very sad moment. And Trump, as we anticipated, falsely and prematurely declaring victory, saying that he won. Uh, he did not win. He has not won. The president falsely depicting the counting as vo of votes as a fraud and an embarrassment. That is not what is going on. What is going on is the normal democratic process. Almost everything President Trump said in his declaration of victory was not true. Okay, so last night we went to bed. We didn't know it was going to happen. What's your prediction? I think Biden with 300. Really? Yeah. I think that it's going to be tighter than that. But I think that Trump is going to refuse to concede. And we just watched the TED talk about what happens if one of the presidential candidates doesn't concede. If he succeeds in getting the votes thrown out and like the result of the election isn't ratified, it's going to go to the House. Madness. I just, this is like not how our system works at all. Like, not saying ours is like good, but it's better than this. Are you planning on listening to that all night? Yeah. Can I give you earphones then? Yeah. I've already decisively won many critical states including massive victories in florida iowa indiana ohio without any and in just a few, we won the and many CNN's of the like fuck this suppression polls everyone knows that now cringe we did a fantastic it's like funny job like not funny you know well that speech was absolutely fucking bananas it's kind of scary if you lived in the states he didn't call for violence on the bright side. I thought he was going to be like telling people to go out with guns. So, you know, if you're looking for a bright side. Mm, not much bright side to that. Just finished teaching my class there. I actually had a really good one today. And now I'm going to go get a sandwich on the way home for me and Alex. And then I have a Skype call. I have not used Skype in years. Why do I think Skype is so weird? Whenever someone asks me for my Skype name, I'm like, ooh. Skype. But actually, surely it's like safer than handing out my number to random people. But somebody contacted me because they want to do an Irish language adult cartoon for TG Cahar and they want me to translate it from English into Irish, which is like, oh my God, am I going to be able to do it? But also, yes. Yes. 
110%. Amazing. Oh, let me do the dictionary out. Oh my God, imagine. Class, 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 class. Class, 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 class. Oh, oh, OMG, CNN just called it and there's a guy crying on the television. It's, um... Well, it's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. It's easier to, it's easier to tell your kids character matters. It matters. Telling the truth matters. Being a good person matters. And many people across the country and just so... Like, listen, I've cried over elections before. I've cried over an American election before. Wild, now that I think back about it. Um, but for an analyst, like the TV analyst to be crying, oh my God. Like, I understand it, but it is bananas. Oh my God. Now Fox is calling it. Like CNN just called it. Fox were obviously just waiting for CNN to do it. We heard a rumor they're not allowed to call him president elect. And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will receive the most votes of any presidential ticket ever. So project Biden wins. CNN have elected. That's interesting, isn't it? Different wording. This is his media ally who's a bigger win than they are. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bananas. They're um, 273. These guys 290. I will not rest until the American people have the honest vote count they deserve and that democracy. He only wants his own votes counted. Like he hasn't given a single reason why other votes shouldn't be counted. It's just like no, don't have them. Trying to figure out where to have food because the place we just rang was like, we can't serve you for two hours and we're both hungry. He wasn't expecting a package. Ferris State University Bulldogs. Oh, that's class. That is so cool. I'll show you now because I just had to open it here because I was so excited. Where's the letter? Hi, Clizer. My name is Jordan Studebaker. Oh, hello, Jordan. You're one of my patrons. I know you have many fans in Michigan coming from your appearances wearing Michigan State. I hope you enjoy the hoodie and winter hat from the college I went to back in 2006-2010. First State University Bulldog. Alex, Millie and you enjoy the Fighting Irish Blanket. So that one's for you, Alex. Thank you. Speaking of Michigan, perhaps you can come visit here someday and enjoy another state you've never been to. Consider this my personal invite. I actually do want to go to Michigan. I get sent so much Michigan stuff. I've been there. Have you? Yeah, my cousins are from Detroit. Thank you so much, Jordan. Okay, it does look so good. What time is it? Ten past one. And what are we doing? We're watching Joe Biden's speech. So it is quarter past midnight. We're staying up because Trump is going to speak, did you say? Or is it Biden we're waiting for? Biden. Biden is going to speak at 1 a.m. our time, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were waiting for Biden to speak last night as well, and he didn't. And I think we gave up and went to bed like midnight. So apparently he's going to speak at 1 a.m. our time here, so we're waiting up to hear it. And it's cool to see all the celebrations on the TV, like everyone's going to get coronavirus. But you know what? It's cool to see some fucking good news for once in this absolute shit show of a year. And I'm just going to do my skincare routine here because it's so late. I've been having a lot of issues with my skin lately. In particular, like my under eye bags are horrendous. Wrinkles, terrible. I just bought this, now not sponsored. But I just bought this, Mugu, to try and not have an allergic reaction. I was told it's like really good and, and natural and it has no dairy in it or something. But basically, it feels amazing and smells unreal. It smells so nice. Oh, I'm like addicted to the smell of it. I'm so tired. Kamala came out to Beyonce, that's pretty fire. Right, a lot of people are. Oh, he's there. <laughs> yeah, he just wants to show you he can do it. Yeah. God, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Quick note. Here they say mandate. We've been delivered a clear mandate. Interesting that he didn't say that. But anyway.
I see what he did there. Make America respect us again. I see what he did there. Okay, he said Monday now. I'm happy now. He said Monday. I am shattered. No, oh, that's cute. Oh. How are they? Oh wow! How the fuck did they do that? Those must be drones, surely. Hello, Alex. Hello, Claire. It's been a long week. We've been up late almost every night watching what's going on in America, waiting for people to speak, waiting for accounts to be finalised or called. For anyone who's like, why? Why do you care? I mean, we do care, but at the same time, it's also entertainment. Like, you know, it's big deals. It only happens once every four years. You know, it's like the Eurovision. <laughs> except rarer. I wanted to share a few really interesting things though before I finish up the video. I didn't know this, but apparently Biden's American Irish and he has ancestors from Ballina in County Mayo. I'm actually from very near to Ballina in County Mayo. So I was really entertained by all the news stories, like they put up a massive Biden mural in Ballina. Giddy excitement and nervous exhaustion in Market Square as the Ballina for Biden campaign keeps up the momentum for their man. Everyone's very excited here at the moment, as you can see from the crowd that's here. There's a great buzz around. So finally, Joe, Joe Biden will, will be the president. Would you make it to the White House, do you think? I don't know. Oh, we will be making it. I don't know. <laughs> for sure. He's I, really hope, able for I hope to. That mural and the celebrations when Biden got elected that were in Ballina made it onto CNN, and CNN pronounced it Ballina. <laughs> Celebrating the results of the U.S. presidential election, this small town in Ireland pulled out all the stops. It's not just any town; it's Bellina, where some of the U.S. <laughs> president-elect ancestors come from. Uh, I'm mad homesick, like really, really homesick for Mayo, and damn it, worse. When we exit these level five restrictions in December, hopefully we'll go to level three, which will allow me to go home to Mayo for a couple of weeks. It'll be freezing, but it'll be worth it. I just, I'm so homesick, so bad. Also, RT News put together this like montage, which was a little bit too romantic for me, to be honest. They were drawing parallels because on the day that Biden got elected, it was actually the same day, the 30th year anniversary of Mary Robinson being elected as the first female Irish president. And she's from Ballina County Mayo as well. And she also quoted Seamus Heaney in her speech. So yeah, there's been a lot of memes, a lot of crack, a lot of banter. It's actually ended a much more positive week than I thought it was going to end. I totally was worried he was going to win again and it was just going to be more of this shit for another four years. It's ended on a positive note. It's nice to have some good news in 2020. Alex and I went for a walk this morning with Alex's sister. We ended up walking 5k and me and Millie both passed out afterwards. <laughs> So if this video is late, that's why. Sorry about that. There's a lot of footage to edit and I was asleep. Out like a light. Like someone just took my batteries out. Me and Millie both lying across Alex like, it's been a busy week. Congratulations, America. I don't know what's gonna happen next though. Trump still hasn't conceded. And Alex was saying that he read somewhere that a senior aide is trying to convince him to concede or something. Then I saw on Twitter people guessing that he might re resign and give the presidency to Pence so the Pence can pardon him. And then I had I saw people speculating on Twitter that he might just like resign and so he doesn't have to go through the inauguration. Um, so yeah, it's still it's still taking over like a like a drama series here. <laughs> And like, we're all talking about it, like my WhatsApp groups just didn't stop going off all week. I need to get this vlog finished and then go to bed. That finally walk wipe me out, man. Clean wipe me out. If you like this video, maybe check out the series. Please give it a like so that I know that you like them. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. And if you have Twitter and Instagram, give me a follow over there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Slant on. <laughs>